laid back moods, sky above, sand below, good vibrations, feeling mellow. Whoever knock? Who would let me in? <laughs> Check it out, Jake. I'm gonna make a fortune on the beach with my new metal detector. If you don't knock it off, you're gonna be using that to detect the metal plate in your head. I don't have a metal plate in my head. Oh, but you will. You will. How about a little break, Jake? It's a perfect day for the beach. Sorry, Lorraine, no can do. The Pacific Coast Bike Show's coming up, and I plan to win this year. Win, 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 win. That's what's wrong with the world today. All anyone cares about is winning. You know, you're right, Tiff. And that's exactly what I plan to say to the losers when I rub my first place trophy in their faces. <laughs> <laughs> and to be sure, when my Uncle Frank just rode in, he's gonna help me with my bike in the next couple of weeks. Uncle Frank? The Uncle Frank? The man who taught you all there is to know about being cool? That's the one. He gave me my first motorcycle ride, helped me pick out my first Harley, and even bought me my first leather jacket. Check it out. <laughs> oh, I can just picture that. Little Jake toddling into Kenny God with his little leather jacket saying, Jakey Summers doesn't do nap time. <laughs> you kept that all these years. Hey, I keep everything you give me. Hey, little Jakey. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys, meet my Uncle Frank. Hey, Hi, Uncle Frank. Frank. Wow, it's amazing. He even looks like you. Uh, not really, not really. I'm better looking. Oh, hey, let me take a shot at this. You must be Lorena, huh? Hey, Jake was right. You are beautiful. Mm, he even has good taste like you. <laughs> hey, you guys better take off now. Uncle Frank and I got a lot of work to do. Hey, it's Bye. cool. We'll catch up with you later. All right. Bye. Oh, nice work, kid. Hey, this is looking good. Yeah, well, I learned from the best. Yeah, that's true, that's true. You know... <coughs> You know, with a little tinkering, <coughs> you may have a shot at that trophy. <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just a little cold. I got to stop riding my bike around in my undies. <laughs> I love it. My bike, my Uncle Frank, and it just doesn't get any better than this. Are you, uh, mind if I bum one? Yeah, sure. When did uh, you start smoking? Oh, are you kidding? I've been uh, smoking for years. <laughs> it's uh, not my brand. Five hundred dollars. I can't believe we actually found five hundred dollars. Well, technically, it's mine since it was found with my metal detector. Technically, it's ours, since we found the box when we buried you and your annoying metal detector in the sand. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, technically... I won it! I won it! Hey! Hold it. Obviously, this money belongs to somebody else. I think we should put up some flyers, and whoever can identify the box, it's his. Uh, sorry, Jake, you can't smoke in here. Mm. Right. Jake, what were you doing with the cigarette? I don't know. Smoking? Oh, come on. Like, you guys never once tried a cigarette? No. I did. When I was 12 at summer camp, some of the guys snuck behind the cabin and offered me one. So I tried it. That's terrible, Sly. You gave in to peer pressure. It wasn't peer pressure. I just wanted to fit in. I have to admit, I've tried one once, too, back in China. What? Oh, come on, guys. I was curious. My mother used to be a smoker, so one day I sort of borrowed one. Did you like it? I don't know. I was too busy throwing up. There, Sly and Sam both tried when it was no big deal. All right now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go get some burgers for Uncle Frank and me. Listen, Jacob. We've been cranking since seven. Uncle Frank's gonna watch some tube, take his mind off of bikes for a while. 
No problem. What's on? Motocross. <laughs> okay, stranger. Since you've been so busy working on your bike, I decided to come over and help you. Wait a minute. You're wearing grubby clothes, and you want to work on motorcycles. Okay, who are you, and what have you done with Lorena? <laughs> Jake Summers, just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I don't know how to use tools. You're right, I'm sorry. Uh, can I see the monkey wrench? Monkey wrench. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what this is called. <laughs> Wow, your bike looks great. Yeah, Uncle Frank's teaching me how to uh, improve the engine timing and the forks performance. Basically teaching me everything I need to know to win. Looks like Uncle Frank is teaching you to be a chimney, too. Oh, come on, take it easy, Lorena. Take it easy? Read the label, Jake. Surgeon General's warning. Smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease, emphysema, and may complicate pregnancy. <laughs> Well, you forgot about the last one, but the others hey, are I very... I heard you, Lorena. Okay, I'll quit as soon as the bike's ready for the show. I as promise. As soon as the bike's ready? You have my word. Okay. Well, it's almost been a week and nobody's claimed the money. Maybe Sly was right, we should just divvy it up. Maybe Sly scared away the real owner. Tony, Sly may be sleazy, but he'd never try to take what isn't rightfully his. Guess again. Well, what are you waiting for? Give me the box. I'm late for bingo. Oh, oh. Not so fast, lady. How do we know it's really yours? You found it in the sand. You see, my husband Stanley did it. He sometimes thinks he's a dog and buries things. Ta-ta! Ah, all right, hold it, Sylvester. We know it's you. I'm a Sylvester Armagna! For 500 bucks, I'd wear pantyhose. You are wearing pantyhose. Ha! Shows you what you know. These are support hose. Oh. You know, Sly, your little trick made me think. I couldn't keep the money knowing it might really belong to some old lady. We should give it to charity. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Great idea, Tip. We'll let Mark hold it until we find the best cause. Great news, guys. Uncle Frank and I finished the bike and it looks hot. I think I'm actually going to win a trophy. I'm so proud of you. Ew, you taste like an ashtray. You promised me you'd stop smoking after you finished the bike. So I figured the bike show is only two days from now. I'll quit then. I don't believe it. You can't stop. That's ridiculous. I can stop anytime I want. Fine, then prove it. Give me your cigarettes. Fine, no problem. Forget this. I don't have to prove anything to you. If I say I can stop, I can stop. do jake's really hurting himself with those things i don't know jake's pretty stubborn i think the only way to get through to him is with tough love oh okay. okay. <laughs> it's simple we make him choose between us and smoking he'll realize we're more important and quit it's a great idea, yeah, a very good idea. <laughs> this will work i guarantee it okay. hey lorena we're gonna dump these anywhere but here jake we don't want your smelly cigarette butts yeah, and as long as you smoke, we don't want to rehearse with you anymore. That's right. Or hang out with you anymore. That's right. Or kiss you anymore. That's... <laughs> that's, that's really her call, not mine. <laughs> Come on, guys, me a break. Smoke and relax me. I like it. Fine, just relax away from us. Come on, guys. Yeah. my favorite cousin. Forget it, Sly. We're not getting the money. Come on, Mark. You know the band Counting Toes? Counting Toes? Yeah, I just bought their new album, This Little Piggy. Well, they're playing at the Forum tonight, and I know this guy will give me t-shirts for only five bucks. We can turn around and sell for ten easy. Boy, Sly, sounds like you really thought this out. Yeah, we just gotta come up with a cool design. We'll double our money. Piece of cake. Well... Okay, I'm in. All right! 
You know, you're finally starting to act like a real Winkle. Everybody get ready. Jake just pulled into the parking lot. Right, so keep up the tough love. I have a feeling he's about to crack. All right, you guys win. I quit. Man, I'm good. No, 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 not so fast. Now, how do we know he's telling the truth this time? Because I learned my lesson. No, really, smell me. No. Hey, no, I'm serious. Check it out. Lorena, kiss me. Nice breath, nice cologne, nice try. What are you talking about? No buts, Jake. You can't hide your smoking with Tic Tacs and Old Spice. Don't you get it? This isn't about how you smell, it's about your health. Uh, no! Don't you use that tone with me, mister. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I know. You're right. I just can't stop smoking. I uh, need your help. Okay, Jake, we picked up some helpful information. Maybe if you heard the awful truth, it'll help make you quit. Right, so listen up. According to the American Heart Association, nicotine found in tobacco products is more addictive than crack or alcohol. Nine out of ten who experiment with it become addicted. Boring. <laughs> that is not gonna help Jake quit. Nobody is interested in a bunch of dry facts. Sly's right, I need more than facts to kick this thing. We're way ahead of you, Jake. We also have a video about the effects of cigarettes. It's so upsetting, you'll never want to smoke again. This is a picture of a normal lung. Note the smooth, regular lung surface. This is a picture of lung cancer. The cancer appears as a large, grayish-white mass in the upper portion of the lung. Many lung cancers appear at the angle where the windpipe branches into the lung. This is where a high concentration of tars from the cigarette smoke accumulate and in some smokers cause cancer. Well, Jake, how do you feel now? Pretty upset. So upset that I need to smoke. All right, enough with the namby-pamby approach. I say the only way to quit is cold turkey. That's right. So starting now, no more cigarettes. No problem. <clears throat> ah, that's better. How do you feel? This will be easy. Okay, okay, so what in that easy? Give me those cigarettes! Jake! 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 Uh, get a hold of yourself. Good. Okay. Now, I have another idea that'll be a lot more pleasant. Pleasant? Mm -hmm. Pleasant? Jamie, I got chopstick on my nose! It would be more pleasant than this! Okay! Now, don't panic! It says in that pamphlet that when the urge gets real bad, you should use chewing gum as a substitute. Gum, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hang in there, Jake. You're doing great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. make you chill. Come on, Jake. I'm more amigurish. What? I'm more amigurish. What did he say? He said... I'm more amigurish. I think he asked for sugarless. No! <laughs> I said I want a cigarette. Nope. You definitely said... I'm on a mid-range! <laughs> Jake! Jake, you have to keep trying. No, you keep trying. I can't take this. But Jake... Look, it's... I appreciate your help, okay? But I'm just not ready to quit yet. The bike show's tomorrow, so if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go put on some finishing touches. Oh, yeah. Hey, check it out, Uncle Frank. Jake Summers doesn't do second place, he does first. That's great, Jake. I'm really glad to hear that. Glad to hear that? Where were you anyway, man? I really wish I could have been there, kid. But, uh, something came up. More important than this? Yeah. Hey, look, I, I woke up this morning and I coughed up a little blood. What? Yeah, I got a little freaked out myself, so I went to see a doctor. 
You know, my, my first checkup in 20 years. You know, they still keep those stethoscopes really cold. Uh-huh. Very funny. What do you say? Well, he took some, uh, some stupid x-rays and... Yeah, said it, uh... Said it looks like, um, lung cancer. Wait, wait a minute. You're kidding, right? I mean, you gotta be kidding. I mean... Oh, man. And he, he said that, they said it's, it's already spread a lot, and... I'm dying, Jake. some phone calls I gotta make, huh? <laughs> I'll see you around, huh? Oh, no. You lost some money? How? <laughs> How? I don't know. I thought my design was a sure thing. <laughs> you lost your mind? The gang is gonna kill us. Uh, correction. Kill you. Me? They expect this from you. You should have known better. <laughs> ah! You're right! I'm dead! Relax. I'll come up with something before the gang decides on a charity. We found a charity. Uh, sorry, guys. Mark and I blew the dough on a stupid business idea. Mark! I told you you should have known better. Jake, what's wrong? Uncle Frank has lung cancer. Oh, man. He's dying. Hey, you don't have to worry about me smoking anymore because I threw those stupid things away. You know, Mark and I may have lost the charity money, but uh, there still might just be a way to make it up. This is great. Sly says we'll easily make more money than we found on the beach. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thanks, guys. I told uh, Uncle Frank all the money's going to cancer research. So. What'd you say? Play one for me. Oh! <laughs> well, let's do it then. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Don't let me be misunderstood 